James 1, verse 5 to 8 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave on the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in all they do. Double-minded. The Greek is literally twice soul. Twice soul. This is not a hypocrite, someone who pretends to be one thing but is really something different. Instead, a double-minded person waffles between decisions. A person whose focus is split in two opposite directions simultaneously. This is actually the first time in Greek literature that this word shows up anywhere. It led some scholars to believe that James created the word. James uses the same word again in chapter 4, verse 8, and it became a popular word in early church writings. As a preacher, I can imagine why so many preachers and and authors honed in on this idea of double-mindedness. A fence-sitter may be neutral. A double-minded person is torn, wavering between options, committed to option A one moment, and then option B, the next moment, and passionate about that, and then back to option A. Jesus spoke about this as serving two masters, an impossible task. We have to be single-minded in our devotion and in our commitment. How can you rely on someone when when they waffle between decisions, tossed by the waves, driven by the wind, guided by the tide? They have no rudder, no guiding principles, and therefore no direction. A principled person is predictable. He or she does what they do because their decision is rooted in their belief system. And because of that, they're steady, consistent, and reliable. You may disagree with their principles, but you can be sure that they will act according to an established system of beliefs. In the context of prayer, the double-minded person prays for wisdom. But something goes wrong even while the prayer is being uttered. They doubt or debate. The Greek word can mean both. They doubt or debate within their mind. Will God hear my prayer? Will God answer affirmatively? Will I have more wisdom if I pray for it? Or will I continue to be disappointed? Well, do I even want wisdom? Because with wisdom comes responsibility, and I'm not sure I want responsibility. And if I gain wisdom, and if I discern what God wants me to do, then I'll be obliged to do it. And I don't know if I want to do what God wants me to do. So I don't know if I want wisdom after all. (laughs) Waffling, vacillating, inwardly divided. If we pray while torn between faith and doubt, obedience and rebellion, between wanting and not wanting the very thing that we pray for, well, we shouldn't be surprised when our prayer goes unanswered. Regarding commitment, a double-minded person, James says, is really unstable. Wishy-washy Christianity is an embarrassment to the church. Without being anchored in the principles of God's word, such people are tossed here, there, and everywhere. They believe whatever is last spoken, or they follow whichever leader is speaking the loudest, or whichever opinion seems popular at the moment but they don't even believe in what they espouse, or they don't even really agree with the direction they're going. They're still vacillating between options. True religion, according to James, is being of a single mind. True religion is full commitment, all or nothing. True religion is fixing your eyes on Jesus, and only Jesus, and then closely following him. True religion is tuning your ear to his voice and ignoring the clamoring calls of the world or your own personal desires. I pray that we will all be of a single mind in our prayers and our commitment and be stable, reliable, consistent in all that we do. God bless.